What's going on, my game, regardless, and today I have the Straw Hat crew with me today. So, we're gonna start off by some introductions. Let's start with you, Sanji. My name is Kyler. I'm Sanji. Uh, this is my second time out of cosplay with my friends. Okay. Luffy. My name is Melissa, and I am Monkey D. Luffy. <laughs> and. Uta, Hello. Right? I'm Uta. Well, my real name is Lila. It's nice to meet you. This is technically my third ever con, but yeah, Ooh. these are my friends. Oh. <laughs> as well. This is my fourth con. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into Well, actually, first, tell the people a little bit about yourselves. Uh, well, I'm Lila, and I do art. Uh, I do work at a Sephora, so I do know a lot about makeup and mm. stuff like that. But I also used to paint, uh, do sculptures, and stuff like that. Okay. Nice. So that means I got to hit you up for some paintings then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very. Oh. Especially, you're really good with crafting. I'm great at crafting. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I am also a struggling artist. The only reason is because I can't pick a niche to save my life, but I think I'm going to focus in fashion. Y'all. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I am working on to be a motorsports journalist. Uh, I'm going to school for that currently. And not only that, I do photography as well, as well as get back into art. Nice. Because I custom made this phone kiss. Ooh. Oh, bring it closer to the camera so that I can see it. Yeah, you gotta walk, 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 walk into the camera, walk into the camera. Custom made, y'all. Custom made. Nice. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Favorite anime character? That's tough. Go uh, on. <laughs> honestly, I'm already cosplaying. I gotta go with Sanji. Sanji? Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, this is a hard one. Okay. So, I think my favorite anime character is Edward from um, Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. Just because I resonate with him as a f older sister. Um, I got little brothers, and if anything happens to them, I will fight to the death to avenge them or to just make them happy, really. So, I relate to him a lot. Okay. Uh, and for me, uh, I would probably say False Phospholite uh, from uh, the anime Land of the Lustrous or Hasuki no Kuni. Okay. Just because it's one of my favorites. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, next I have, what made y'all come up with y'all handle the name if it's not like your name? I love this question. <laughs> okay, so I actually do have an art account uh, called Nightlights. Um, so, my real name is Lila, so my uh, name definition is Knight, mm -hmm. and if I ever have a daughter or a kid, I will want to name them Lucy, because they will be the light to my knight. Mm, <laughs> that's dope. Okay. I think you have told me that before. Yeah. <laughs> well, my name on my socials right now is Caramelli, two C's, two R's, two I's. Pull everything. Okay. Yes. Because yeah. double the fun. But it is actually um, an idea from my friend. He said that I'm his caramel because I'm super sweet but have a hard shell. Um, and Melly is my nickname. So, Kara Melly. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's dope. My two socials are my personal 49 Kyler B, which the 49 comes from uh, my racing idol who ran the number 49. And then my name is Kyler, and then B is first name, first letter of my last name, and then my photography account is just Kyler Box Photography, where I post uh, or I plan on posting um, race pictures and stuff like that mm. of different racing series across the world. Um, I've been in Belgium, Netherlands. Uh, I plan on go back there again next year with some friends, and not only that, do photography here and also work in the media as well. Okay, nice, okay. So, what's your favorite person to cosplay as? That's honestly tough. Uh, honestly, it's I haven't done it yet, but um, it's probably gonna be either Tobey Maguire's symbiote suit yes. or uh, Darth Revan from Star Wars. Mm. 
I have so many favorites. Um, I really liked my SS. She's probably number three. I waited months for her. Which was fire. Yes. Yeah. My Luffy, though, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was more excited to do Luffy just because he was the first anime I ever watched. One Piece was the first anime I ever watched. It has such like, an engraving in my heart. But number one is going to be Starfire. She was my idol growing up, and I just feel like I'm just chubby Starfire. <laughs> And as y'all know, I've done skits with her as Starfire. <laughs> yes, and I've done skits with you as the as bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Okay, and I am hoping to actually make this cosplay soon, but I'm going to cosplay as Bondrood from uh, Made in the Abyss. Uh, but I'm going to make it into a female version because obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously, yeah. But yeah. Okay. Favorite anime series? Hmm. Okay, I would say, as much as I love Land of the Lustrous, I will say, anime-wise, Made in Abyss is probably the best. Mm. Just because the first season was absolutely amazing to, like, introduce such an amazing world and amazing characters, even though the main character is kind of if. But the movie and the second season, absolutely phenomenal, and I love the animation and so, everything about it. <laughs> how I got into that, I don't know if I told you already. But it was a video game, and I was like, oh, yeah. wow, Like I love this game. Like I need to get it. And then I found out it was an anime, and I was like, I need to watch it. I said, I haven't watched it, but I need to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I need to watch it. Oh, my God, you're asking all the hardest questions. <laughs> and then my brain just fogged up. But right now, I guess the only one that can pop up in my head is, well, Full Metal Alchemist. That was, like, my, my favorite. But Tech on Titan, Fruits Basket, all come close. So, yeah. I can't think of my brain. <laughs> Honestly, for me, it's got to be Soul Eater because it's the only anime that I've watched the entire season. Mm -hmm. um, but I also want to get into One Piece as well. Yes, you should. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I have is favorite Japanese food. Ooh. That's tough. Uh, Honestly, gotta go with that. Gross, probably. Okay. okay. Too good. My favorite is their candies, cause they have like our candy, but in different flavors and variations. Um, like we went to Colossicon, and they had like all these types of like different Kit Kats, and like oh, just their candy is really good, especially their jelly candy. I don't mm. know what it's called, but it's really good. <laughs> I would probably say mochi just because mochi. you could get like savory mochi and then like really sweet mochi, is which true. is just great. I've had mochi before. Can mm -hmm. I change my answer? <laughs> mochi. <laughs> <laughs> is that the final answer? Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. Favorite anime series? Great question. I mean, not series. <laughs> All right, ask y'all that. Favorite anime scene? Favorite anime scene works. Oh, I, I know. Okay. You could start off first because I think I had to think. Well, it's between two. <laughs> um, the first one is where um, the. Okay. Okay. I'll just say my favorite one is um, when Levi cuts the. What's it called? The. Mm. The but the. The colossal titan. Not the colossal no, titan. The. The ape? Ape Titan. Oh, oh the ape Titan. Oh. The Beast, Beast Titan. Titan. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. My brain. I get very nervous. I'm like shaking. <laughs> um, yeah, the, when he cuts the Beast Titan's ankles because I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. That was dope. Oh, that was dope. That was dope. Do you Okay, just because Made in Abyss is my absolute favorite, but the scene where, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but uh, Faputa, when she went inside uh, the hut and absolutely demolished everybody. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, the animation was beautiful, and I absolutely love Faputa, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if you want to say. <laughs> Honestly, I can't remember exactly what happens towards the end of uh, Soul Eater, but there is just mass destruction everywhere. Oh. Um, whenever. I, it's been so long since I've watched Soul Eater, um, but it's towards one of the ending episodes where there's mass destruction everywhere, and it's just amounts of chaos everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my favorite scene, I'm a DBZ fan, is when. Uh, Bojack Unbound, I don't know if y'all seen it. Goku comes down to save Gohan. 
go home. It's like, dang, my dad is dead. He had to come save me from the dead again, you know. So they're trying to hold him down, like, with these powers and stuff. So he's walking. He was like, I'm my father's son. <laughs> it's right. like, he's right there. He's right over there. Yep. Hello, hello. Where is it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for being my friend. <laughs> okay. I love that. I got all right, but that's my favorite scene. So, what got y'all into cosplaying? Uh, honestly, um, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I just liked the idea of dressing up as my favorite uh, he uh, superheroes, whether it be Spider-Man um, or any of the Transformers from way back then. Um, but yeah, the, it's just nice to you know dress up again and especially be here with my friends. As well. It's more fun with friends, man. Yeah, for, it sure, is. for sure, yeah. like it really it is. And I've is. met like a lot of amazing people, you know, like y'all and met at Quincy. Like it met a lot of amazing people, so it's really more fun with friends. What got me into cosplay was I've always had a love for Halloween, um, just because I got a reason to dress up as people that I loved. Mm -hmm. But now, as an adult, I have adult money, so now I can dress up whenever I want <laughs> and buy whenever I want. Yeah. And then it just gives you a break from reality. When you dress up as your favorite character, you feel how they feel, and it's powerful, and it's, it got rid of my depression, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, because I am a very artsy person, and I absolutely love anime, so it was kind of like two worlds like trying to merge with one another. And just because as a kid, I would cosplay as, um, like my first ever one was doing uh, Sebastian from Back Black Butler in middle oh, school because my friends nice. was CL and uh, the other one I keep on forgetting her name but it was the girl <laughs> and it was it was great it was she was the one with like the big poofy dress that I think it's Elizabeth or something like that. The one that, that was trying to, like the one that was supposed to marry. Uh, yeah, CL. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, and then my second ever cosplay was just me making uh, Undying's ears from the game Undertale. Oh, nice. But yeah, but because of her, I was able to actually go to conventions, yeah. so. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Always fun to bring out the friends, man. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Love to hear that. All right, Sub versus Dub. You know, nowadays it's really difficult because I do like me some subs just Same. because. Uh, but there has been some amazing dubs. Dub like has gotten first, better over the years. Because like Soul Eater, I know it's like an older show, I but their Eater. their yeah. dub is phenomenal. It's mm -hmm. the best. But I think I do have to say sub. Sub. Okay. Just, okay, okay. just because. Just because. <laughs> I would say dub. Now, before you judge me. Before you do. Before you judge me. Before you judge. I'm a busy gal, okay? I, I need to be doing my chores, my my art. Yes. Yeah. I'm at work. I got one hair phone in, one cu attending customers. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what? It's just, it's easier for me to do other stuff while enjoying the stuff I love. Mm -hmm. so. Honestly, I'm probably just going to have to go with subs as well. Okay. okay, nice, nice. Me, I do both. Yeah. Like, I have my sub that I watch, and then, like, multitasking, exactly. editing videos and stuff like that, yeah. I watch dub, you know. And I have, like, certain dubs that I watch, like, wow. comedy stuff, like, stuff that's not real serious, you know, yeah. I watch and dub, so, that's me. Alright, if you had to live in one of these anime worlds, which one are you going to pick? <laughs> Fairy tale or One Piece? <laughs> hmm. I already know. One Piece. One Piece, oh my gosh. One piece. Oh, no, of course. No, Jesus, Have you seen on? the Don't bodies? You clap. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving body, okay? They're giving body. I'm a fake fan. I'm gonna say fairy tale. <laughs> I don't care if fake fan or not. Fairy tale all day, every day, y'all. Come on, they yeah, got the power of friendship. I, I I don't know. Okay, okay. Then I feel like at least in fairy tale, we can manage, you know, we got magic, we can join the guild, exactly. we can do stuff. In one piece. Kaido just decided to come mess up some stuff. What you mean is a cap, man? How is the cap? Come, 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 come in this, come in this, come in this, come in this. I need to know why it's his cap, sir. The main Give reason why a fairy tale is cap is because they haul in in this heart of the cards. They had Agnologium, <laughs> who was a dragon that could destroy time itself. Uh, true, true, true. Okay. Then Agnologium got beat by Zerif because Zerif had instant death magic over anyone he loved and okay, everything like that. True. And then Zerif got a power boost where he was able to completely rewrite the universe and not to beat him by punching him. 
He can't He's win. not wrong. We're still going with, don't listen to him, okay? We're still going with, with, with fairy tale. Fairy tale's an amazing anime and everything like that, but survivability, I would definitely pick one piece of a fairy tale, even what? if I ate a devil fruit. As long as I don't go in the ocean, I'm yeah. good. You're good. See, okay, but what's the swim, 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 what is the probability of you finding the devil fruit? Uh, it, well, extremely low, to be honest, and everything like that, but uh, a lot of low-tier minions and other th people like that in One Piece, including like Marines and stuff, can easily learn hockey, so you wouldn't really have to require a devil fruit, and you'd still be able to keep your ability to swim. But if you were one of the lucky people that find one, they already have a devil fruit encyclopedia in the One Piece verse, so you would know what powers you could get from it before yeah. you even ate it. Because anyone that uh, notices, uh, they reference this with Blackbeard because Blackbeard plotted beforehand to intentionally get the Shadow Shadow Fruit and everything way ahead of time. Like as a kid, he had the One Piece Encyclopedia and he was like, yeah, this is the fruit I want that's going to make me take over the world and become the King of the Pirates. All right, that was quiz, everybody. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you already know who he is. I did an interview with him. That's my boy right there. All right, well, you know. That aside, I'm still choosing fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have to only pick one out of the big three, which is One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. Which one are you keeping? Only one. Only one. Oh my God! Wait, hold on. I need to do something. Go ahead. Okay. Wait, 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 no, 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 you're my answer. I was gonna say, out of spite, I have not watched the big three. I'm a fake fan, but. I have not watched Bleach, I have not watched Naruto, and I have definitely not watched One Piece, which I, I know I'm <laughs> cosplaying as Uta. Don't, don't come at it, don't come at it. Leave her alone, y'all. I just love the voice, well, the singing voice actor of Uta, Idol, so that's why I'm cosplaying as her and to match them. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, I'm biased too. I've watched more Naruto and One Piece than I have Bleach. Don't get me wrong, Bleach is cool, but One Piece? One Piece? I just have to, oh I can't. Plus, I'll have content forever. True. <clears throat> I haven't seen Bleach, but uh, Naruto is the first anime that I've watched as a kid. So I, I, I've honestly got to go with Naruto. Come in the shot. Come in the shot. You were out of shot. You were out of shot. Here we go. Here we go. We migrated slowly. We migrated <laughs> slowly. Slowly. Okay. All right. So the next I have, what would you replace out of the big three? What would you what? replace? Yeah. What would you replace out of the big three? Like, what would you take out? Like, for me, One Piece got to go. And I'll put in... <laughs> <laughs> I'll put in Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Bleach you gotta go. And I'll put in like Yu Yu Hakusho or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but, fair. you know. Replace, replace. Okay. Take out Bleach and put in the Soul Eater. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um. Take out Bleach and put in either Inuyasha or Full Metal. Cool. I was gonna say yeah. take out Bleach and put Full Metal. Man, hey, don't come at us, y'all. We just don't <laughs> like Bleach story. like that, okay? We're sorry. We're sorry, Hosh. <laughs> We're sorry, Hosh. We're, We're sorry, okay? Like, you know, we just don't, you know, either Bleach or One Piece. Which one you want, man? <laughs> can't have both. You can't have both. You can't have a cake and eat it, too, my guy. Can't have a cake and eat it, too. All right. Next I have is, y'all Dragon Ball Z fans? Y'all know a little bit about Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. No? A little bit? A little bit? I okay. I more of the Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. Nah, okay, okay. Thanks. I was going to, okay, so the question I was going to ask was, who was at fault for Cell reaching perfect form, Vegeta or Krillin? But y'all don't know, like. Sad, we got, I got no clue. <laughs> Sad face, I cries. <laughs> I cries. Okay, who is, uh, who, Timmy Turner, I got it on here. Timmy Turner versus Jimmy Neutron. Who y'all think will win? Ooh. Well, Jimmy Neutron's smart. Well, but Timmy Turner has a fairy lock. Yeah. Sorry. It was so nice meeting you. It was so nice meeting you. Nice meeting I'll see you in December. Yeah, see you in December. Oh, I, I already got my kimono already. <laughs> my Missy <laughs> kimono. Uh, we make friends out here, y'all. Come to conventions. <laughs> I, I actually think that Timmy Turner might have a chance. Timmy's just because he could wish anything. Yeah. Facts. Mm, but if he turns 13... But he was 13 forever because he made that oh, wish. Right, that wish. Did, so uh, I'm gonna have to give this one to Timmy because. Timmy for the dub. I mean, I love to hear it. I love one on one, it. Jimmy, but Timmy. Timmy. Yeah, yeah with them fists. Yeah. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Timmy. Yeah, with the burner. I'm gonna have to go with Timmy as well just because he can wish for anything. Yeah. That is true. That he is wished true. for like a big ass. Yeah, get a machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
I know he can't wish to kill somebody, but oh, yeah. he can wish. Yeah, I never thought about that. Just yeah. get a Yeah, kind of like a death note. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but you just won't write it in. Oh, you're right. Right. Just tell us. oh no. This a proof. What? Oh, he yeah. couldn't kill nobody. You can't do anything to harm anyone, threaten their life, use anything to win any type of contest, so that includes a fight or anything like that. Oh, my God, that. He could wish for extra strength. Or he could just Man. wish. He, he okay. He's not hurting if he wish for Timmy, not Timmy, for Jimmy to lose all. Get in the shot, man. <laughs> get it. Get over get here. Get in the shot. You can't just get talk from here. far. Okay. So what I was gonna say is he's not hurting him if he say I wish that Jimmy wasn't as smart as he is. That's false. <laughs> He's not hurting him though. That, that's that's pretty much the equivalent of mentally crippling someone. It's not mentally. You could be like, hey, I wish he just wasn't a super genius. And just like make him be regular. Again, super against the rules and everything. Ah, <laughs> okay. okay, 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 okay. And especially for the simple fact is that, well, is this death match or is? Can I have a picture with you? Hey, after our interview, please. No, Thank God, you. please, no, no! Uh, I tried to be rude, but I was like, ah, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Now, if y'all are doing an uh, official death Wait. match... In End of the line. I forgot you can use this. <laughs> if y'all are doing an, an official death match where it's a life or death scenario, it's going to be a difficult fight, but Jimmy Neutron is going to take the dub because of inventions he's already made in the past. Keep in mind, he does have inventions that give him stuff like Hulk and everything, and he can actually use Dang those it. to fight. I'd be saying, hold up. about that. And not only that, but one of the main things he has is that he has an ageifying ray, which he has shot people with and everything in the Jimmy Neutron verse that instantly turns them into like a 70 year old man. And so as soon as that were to hit Timmy Turner, he would automatically take the L because you can't have fairies or grant make wishes once you pass the age once of 13. Age, yeah, yeah. And if anyone that. wants to use like the movie reference where Timmy made the secret wish where he could never uh, age or anything like that. That's a no limits fallacy. So if you use a device that actually forces him to become that age instead of aging naturally, it would still work on him. Job. I'm still you. going with Timmy. Okay. Okay. Hox again. Jimmy. 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 Hox again I with the facts. But that is it for my interview, y'all. Is there anything y'all want to tell the people? Anything, tips or tricks to get started on anything? Following your dreams, goals, what? Uh, well, just do the things that you enjoy. Uh, I liked anime for the longest time, but been way too self-conscious to go to conventions and actually like dress up as the characters that I actually enjoy. And I have gotten so many friends, new friends, and new experiences with this. So yeah, do what you ever you love. Mm -hmm. The best feeling in the world is finding people that share your passions, maybe not even for the same fandoms, but hearing people talk excitedly about the things they love is enough for me to be wanting to be here all the time. And then you get to dress up. It's fun. You can make your own. You can buy them. You can um, custom make them. You can... World's your limit. The sky's your limit. It's amazing. I really recommend it. Yes. Honestly, just be happy with life. Surround the people that you know enjoy the things that you enjoy as well just you know have a fun time with life have fun that's all that's all oh go ahead the one piece is the friends you make along the way <laughs> <sighs> yeah this, yeah 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 friends you make along the way <laughs> the the one piece is nami's tits <laughs> That's a meme. That's a meme, by the way. I, I, I ain't never heard that before in my life. <laughs> I ain't never heard that before. But, no. I just want to say, y'all, I appreciate y'all. I know I've did my skits with y'all, too, all before. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you for doing this interview with me, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, y'all, they are very creative. So, I want to, like, do a collab and do, like, some gamer gauntlets. I know I told you already, like, I want to do, like, a gamer gauntlet, like, little fashion thing. Yes. I didn't know you had art stuff. You kept that a secret. How dare you? Shame <laughs> on you. Sorry. I'm sorry. So, like, I want to, like, you know, do some collab stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll probably do a giveaway or something on my channel, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, next time we all link up, like, yeah. Yeah. go live or talk about the giveaway and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all be down to do some stuff like that? Yeah. Like, later I can in the actually future? do a, um, if Steve Madden any shoe mm -hmm. we can like promote them 
It'll help uh, my business. Yeah, yeah, so for sure, for sure. If some, it'll get you cosplay shoes. I got these at Steve Madden. They're literally goofy shoes. Goofy shoes, <laughs> okay, so, yeah. yeah. So I'm down with that. All right, tell the people where they can find you at on your social medias. So on TikTok and Instagram are my two mains. It's Caramelli with two C's, two R's, and two I's. And then I have two, my uh, original account, which is just L-I-L-A-H-1226. And then my art account, I'm going to actually post stuff on it, which is Night Lights, uh, just Night Lights, and then 1226. You can find me on Instagram. Two socials. Uh, the first one is 49 Kyler B, and the second one is Kyler Box Photography, which is my photography page. And maybe later on down the line, I'll make a third page with... Uh, for an art page, uh, because I do have some art on my computer that I made previously, of mm. Spider-Man art, um, and stuff like that. Okay, nice. And all the links will be in down in the description down below, y'all. Thank y'all so much. And as always, my gamer gauntlets, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Peace. Hey, everybody, this is Uncle Rocket. Just reminding you to like, share, and subscribe to the Gamer Gauntlet channel even though it's run by this Negro.